Let's try another variation on solving problems that involve brackets. In this case, we just have more brackets, but really no difference in our steps. More steps, perhaps, but that just means that you need to stay super organized in laying out your work. Example 1. Solve 2 times 4x minus 3 equals negative 5 times x minus 6. Now we could stop and consider dividing out the 2, but we notice that 5 divided by 2 isn't a nice number, so let's go ahead with distribution. In this case, we have distribution to do on both sides of the equal sign. On the left, 2 times 4x equals 8x, 2 times negative 3 equals negative 6, and on the right, negative 5 times x equals negative 5x, and negative 5 times negative 6, a negative times a negative is a positive, so plus 30. At this point, we want the x terms on the left and the non-x terms on the right. This means that both the negative 6 and the negative 5x are out of place. Let's pick one and deal with it. Let's add the 6 to both sides to start with. On the left, we have 8x. On the right, we have negative 5x. And 30 plus 6 is 36. So now we can deal with the negative 5x. And we do so by adding 5x to both sides. On the left, we have 8x plus 5x is 13x. And on the right, we're left with 36. Now, we're currently multiplying the x by 13. So we'll divide both sides by 13. And we're left with x on the left and 36 divided by 13 and we stop and think about reducing this. We're stuck with this big fraction, and our solution is 36 over 13. Note that there wasn't any new skill involved in this one, but also notice how carefully we had to lay out our work. Without a careful layout, it's really easy to make a mistake in a problem like this one. 